There are few things we can be certain of in life, but annual releases of My Hero Academia seems to be one of them. Starting in 2016, the story of Class 1A began and has steadily picked up popularity all over the world thanks to the action being ramped up over the years and the original films that can surprise even manga fans. Here are five things you need to know about the series. One of the most remarkable things about the show is how its production values were so much better than the average Shonen Jump adaptation. This was a specific goal of Toho producer Wakana Okabura, who aimed to achieve two things, an adaptation with high production values and a show that would be popular overseas. To this end, she approached Bones about creating the show, since she'd worked with them on Blood Blockade Battlefront and witnessed firsthand their ability to create great action animation, and also because Bones was popular overseas. A while back, Funimation conducted research that concluded that anime fans wanted to see shows from five studios. Production IG, Wit Studio, Sunrise, A1 Pictures, and Bones. Director Kenji Nagasaki was brought onto the project thanks to his success in creating Gundam Build Fighters, where he worked alongside music composer Yuki Hayashi. Since then, every series he's directed, he's brought Hayashi along. But the special thing about Kenji Nagasaki is that when he reads a script, before anything's been drawn for an episode, he's already thinking about the music. In this way, he's a music-first director, and this often leads to him requesting Hayashi to creating larger and larger soundtracks. When Hayashi works with other other directors, he's often teamed up with other composers to create large soundtracks, but on My Hero Academia, Nagasaki is only interested in working with him alone. Funnily enough, when you're talking about the amazing contributions Yuki Hayashi makes towards My Hero Academia, that becomes a confusing statement. And that's because there are two major staff members named Yuki Hayashi. One is the gymnast turned musician that we talked about before, and the other is a thrilling animator who's made significant contributions to the Precure and One Piece series, but now makes regular appearances on My Hero Academia. One of his standout moments was in the Two Heroes film, animating this part of the battle between Deku and Wolfram. Unlike shows like One Piece or Black Clover, My Hero Academia will take regular breaks each year. However, this doesn't mean that the team are taking a break. All this break allows them to do is get a head start on production for the next season. If you're constantly working, there's not much opportunity to plan and improve, but Okamura states that with these breaks, they are able to look back on what they achieved in the previous season and work to improve for the next one. A lot of mangaka are happy to see their work adapted, but Horikoshi was particularly excited. It makes sense though, since this was a dream team of talents, from character designer Yoshihiko Umekoshi to the director to Studio Bones itself. So he'd be very prompt when they needed help with the anime or when he was writing the story for the film, and he'd even draw original illustrations to promote each episode of the anime. If you know how busy a manga artist can be, you'll see that that is dedication. Thanks for watching OtaQuest in Japan, and feel free to subscribe to find out more about Japanese anime, games, fashion, music, and more.